Welcome back to another crypto video. Man, I gotta stop doing those intros, they are really lame. <laughs> so we're gonna check out Cyball. We're gonna look at something a bit different. We're gonna look at some DeFi projects today. I think I wanna tap into DeFi, play to earn here and there, just because it's a strong hedge against these bear markets. When you're still earning good yield and making good money from these particular gaming projects, um, yeah, you can help you really hedge against um, these bear markets. And there are teams out there that will put thousands of dollars into one single play to earn game, and they will be like effectively almost like a whale, and they will make hundreds each day, and they will eventually pay off their initial capital. I know people that have done it, especially some avalanche validators, and they're playing lots of games like Crab Ada. DeFi kingdoms on the Harmony One system. And it's pretty real, the amount of money you can make. So Cyborg is something that is yet to launch. Um, Cyborg NFT Marketplace, you can see this is their website right here. Pretty cool, it's a football inspired game. And you have these cool kind of sci-fi characters over here. Cyborg is a football themed NFT based game with a play to earn model that allows you to test your might against players from around the world. So it looks pretty basic, the website. Um, you can see the characters have traits, different abilities, they have classes, so they're bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and legendary, probably reflecting their value and you know their traits, power, and the abilities that they have. Also, they have some skills over there, so like dribbling, crossing, shooting, and physical. So they're like the attributes, so to speak. Um, and this looks quite cool, to be honest. I want to try and find some gameplay over here for you guys. There's a little video here might show something. So I hope you can see some gameplay before the actual, you know, they've already got the token and the NFTs and there's no stake when we went this beforehand. So this is the Cyblock main website on the BNB chain. So you need BNB to play this particular game. We can see here, here is the marketplace. So these are some of the characters right here. We can look at a bronze characters trading at $196 right here, $200 for these particular characters, silver ones. They're slightly pricier. I mean, I don't, that's a silver right there, $900, pretty crazy. Do we have any golds in the marketplace? Because I believe it's just an alpha version that has launched so far, guys. But it's quite an exciting game. Um, not really seeing any opportunity to actually play it right now. Like I said, I do think it is just a um, in alpha right now, or beta, I'm not sure which. So right now is probably not going to be a time where we can show any real gameplay but um yeah as you can see my profile is nothing because i don't have a side block i don't have anything like that so here are some nfts cyborg official and the, they look pretty cool very geeky so i've got that anime sort of theme going on yeah i don't know what this is don't know what this is yeah, this is some of the NFTs that you can effectively purchase. Here is the roadmap, so I think this is quite important to look at. December 2021, they have the NFT drop, ecosystem, NFT marketplace, side loans. Um, February 2022, this month, so we've got exhibition mode, 5v5, training modes, token economy updates, play to earn economics optimization, March to May, infrastructural updates, gameplay updates, token economy updates. So they do have a roadmap, which is pretty important to see. We can see here are the different classes. Um, so for bronze, we have max overall range at level one, max overall range at level 100, and the rarity of the side blocks right here. So you can see a legendary is 0.05 to 0.1% on the random number generation. Platinum also really rare as well. The bronze is very common as you can see. So five different classes, each of increasing overall skill rating and also rarity too. So that's quite important. Here are the different traits. So right here, 
team player, show off, all rounder, pro defender. These are all of the different um, traits. So one side block may have two or three or even one only trait. Traits can affect a multitude of areas of gameplay mechanics to potential rewards and are also stackable should a side block have multiple traits for similar related effects. Pretty cool to see that there, the, the actual traits. Here's the skills. So we can see bronze, different sort of skilling here. Silver, level one, 30, base level. So bronze versus legendary at level one, the minimum base is already a difference between 20. And we can see the max base level one, 40 and 60. So it is a, a difference between 20 right there. Increments of five on the statistic side of things. Level and XP. For every 100 experience points XP a side block earns, it levels up. For example, a side block would reach level two with 100 XP, then level three after another 100 XP. That's surprising because I thought the XP would actually increase as per level, like on most sort of RPG games. So the XP or level growth rate is effectively the same consistently. That's interesting. That would be a bit of a turn off. Like I'm worried about the gameplay potential here. Um, what else do we have? We've got game modes, we've got matchmaking systems, post-match results and rewards. Upon the end of the match, a player is moved to the screen displaying relevant match data, including final score, which team in each key event, match rewards. So it looks like we're getting some CBT, which is probably the native token, the in-game currency as opposed to the governance token itself. You can see here they're receiving XP plus 100. Is there anything on the currencies that would be quite interesting? Token model. CBD, Cyblock battery token. So I believe that is Cyber token CYB is an ERC20 BT20 token of fixed supply. This is Cyborg's governance, utility, and special play to earn reward. Users can earn CYB through special rewards for completing in league and tournaments, PvP modes, staking rewards, special rewards for users who perform various activities that help the ecosystem. So you play, you help the ecosystem. You get rewarded in their governance, utility, and special play to earn reward token right there. And this is the battery token. Um, so this is CBT. This is primary play to earn reward and utility token. Users can earn CBT when performing the following, compete in various PVP modes, earn revenue from Cylones. So it's a few different things right there, guys. The technology as well. I'm trying to find the tokenomics of this particular coin, but I don't actually see it right here. Post-match, future expansions, mentoring. Cylones, what are those? So it looks like you can also loan here. Cylones is a unique automated scholarship university feature that allows users to loan out their inactive side blocks to other users who have yet to build their own lineup. So if you have a team and you have like people on the sideline or you know or sitting on the bench so to speak you can actually loan them out to other people i suppose at a cost any new users can become a scholar borrower provided they agree to the terms set out by the lenders the relevant nfts stay in the owner's lender's wallet and will be transferable while being loaned out so this is all nfts effectively this is pretty pretty cool to see this um it's a shame we can't see any actual gameplay right now here's the ecosystem Marketplace, Cylones, Cydex. And it's backed by all of these different auditors, exchanges, and other like big crypto companies, um, which is pretty good for you know security purposes and legitimacy as well of the actual game itself. So it's kind of cool. I do like what I'm seeing. Would like to see some gameplay of this. Total supply, 16,385. And yeah. BUSD is the one guys. So this is on the Binance chain. Pretty cool to see. We're gonna find out more about this soon. I'd like to I'll see a bit more about staking. If there was a search feature here, that would be great. There is a search feature, wonderful.